it be done because industry has this. And this is a salary that somebody in the industry would make. Well, Arnie Duncan says teachers should be the highest paid person in the district. Well, I say, what's Arnie Duncan? But that's not what we're going to argue over tonight. We're talking about positions. When I looked at the second interim in the back, you know, I read through all your assumptions and that you're not going to take into account the Prop 30 money because we don't have the funding formula yet and you don't have some of this other information. I understand that. But based on your numbers that you have reported, this is kind of shocking. Your multi-year projections. When we look at 2011-12, the certificated had 477 employees in our membership. CSEA had 491.0. Administrative certificated supervisors and confidential had 87. In 2012-13, certificated employees were down to 462. That was a loss of 15. CSEA had 449.2, roughly a loss of 41 positions. People. Administration, 85. What you're projecting for 1314, 439 certificated teachers, counselors, nurses, psychologists, career guidance coordinators. A loss of another 23. It's a far cry different from 62 or 72. CSEA, 445. Administration, 84. 2014-15, and this is your third year out that you're pro projecting we're going to be bankrupt, taken over by the state. 439 certificated employees. CSEA, 445. Administration, 84. Let me tell you, if we're taken over by the state, in case you didn't know, if we go into receivership, the first position that would be eliminated would be the superintendent. <laughs> now, this is not a personal attack. It's a fact that people are afraid for their jobs. I think it starts at the top, but the fear is being spread. If I can quote one of my favorite movies, Hello, Dolly. Do you remember when, help me out here, Walter Matthau, he said, like money is like manure, it needs to be spread around. Well, fear is being spread around. What we need to have answered is the one question revolving around these labs. You've heard other people make reference to this. 400 in decline enrollment, 50 the following year. It's in your report. If you lay off 62 teachers, that's one teacher for seven students. We don't have class sizes that small. If it's really 44 teachers, it's one for every 10 students. We don't have class sizes that small. These are the numbers that were taken from the report that you are about to approve. If you have a credit, I would encourage you to do so. 